Hello, Griffith Vegan here, back with another episode of Oxygen Not Included. We got our power set up last episode and uh, now have a transformer going. So now, whenever we need another new uh, power source, we'll have to put up a new transformer and then run wires to that transformer. To do that, our food is looking up a little bit. Uh, we're at up to 18,000. If we look at this, we are... Um, consuming 6,000 calories per cycle and we have 18,000 so we're still low still low on food but hopefully we can start getting our food supply up and running a little bit better now I'd love to go ahead and get some ranching started um, I don't think I have any skills available for anybody oh I do uh, is anybody good at ranching uh, no is anybody a farmer already does I have anybody with farming Liam should be a farmer, but yep, I got him in cooking. We need to get him up into farming and then critter ranching, and then I'll go ahead and make the ranches. Uh, Lindsay can do cooking as well, as can Wang. I'm thinking we might get Wang doing some cooking also. Uh, Salad's doing the majority of the cooking. I'm going to go ahead and give Wang some cooking, and we'll give, uh, we'll give old uh, Lindsay here uh, some improved carrying. Okay, there we go. So, we're still doing some research, so that's good. We got our water supply set up so that we can uh, get some good stuff going there. I'm going to put in, uh, I think it's slime here, yeah. I'll put the slime in here so that uh, it doesn't off-gas any, any bad stuff there. So let's go ahead and unblock this water pump for our uh, toilets here but oh I mean we got plenty of water in the uh, in the uh, in the pop so it's not that big of a deal let's go ahead and set that high to dump that polluted water so we don't have lots of polluted air around and that'll be good all right awesome that is great okay got lots of uh, stuff falling down from up above as we continue to dig up Let's go ahead and get that and that there. And then that water should continue to flow down into our pit. And uh, we should be in good shape water-wise. Down here, carbon dioxide is starting to really become a problem. Now we also have some natural gas in there and some chlorine as well. So I'm thinking it might be time to set up the carbon skimmer and all that stuff down here. So... Uh, carbon skimmer. Do I have the uh, the other thing? Uh, what's it called? Ch -ch 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 -ch, not carbon skimmer. Uh, I'll be researching it right now. Let's see. What am I researching? Fossil fuels? Um, water sieve. That's what I'm thinking. Let's look in the uh, in the plumbing section here water sieve yes we need to finish this water sieve research so that I can put the carbon skimmer and the water sieve down here and get that going let's go ahead and put down the carbon skimmer here uh what should i should i put it just right here i think this will be a good place to to put it uh, i could put it down here though let's just go ahead and put it here for now Put that part, uh, carbon skimmer there. Well, let's get some wire to it. Just go ahead and run that down just like that. Awesome. I think our wiring is in good shape. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we don't, we're not drawing too much power anywhere, so that's excellent. Let's go ahead and mop up this spill of polluted water. Where'd that come from? Did somebody pee up there or something? Or what's, what's the deal? Not sure. Not sure. But now I can get our refinement, which is the water sieve. We can get that going down here as well. I'm going to pop that down right there. We'll do a little more power wire. Just like so. All right. So let me see if I can remember how to do this here. So um, let's get our next research back up and run. Let's uh, go back up here to the fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, yep. Okay. Alright, so we will need plumbing. 
we will need a liquid pipe coming into the carbon skimmer, if I remember correctly. So I'll come, I should have put this on the other side of it. All right, so that's fine. We'll put that there and then we'll put in a liquid bridge so that when it comes off of here, it will come out of the carbon skimmer with polluted water, right? And then into the sieve with, there we go, just like that. I think that will do just fine. We will need some ladders up here to make this stuff. Let's do that and something like that. That should do for all of these objects here. All right. So then, once we get these pops finished, um, I think we'll be in good shape. Yeah. It's okay, Sally. It'll be all right. Yeah, his eyes are burning from the chlorine. We still don't have to worry about germs, huh? We might be able to get enough air up there. <laughs> Alright, Salad's like, I'm getting the heck out of here. Alright, so we're up to 494 watts at a time, so that's okay. Let's see, who did I want to put on cooking? Wang. Wang will also do some cooking. That'll be good. And who else? Lindsay's okay at cooking. I'll put her up there as well. And then Liam will also be doing some cooking. So we'll always have somebody cooking, hopefully. All right. Liam is happy about something. He's got some skin irritation from the chlorine. Yeah. You know what we could do? Could have done. We could have just built a platform over here. And then, uh... <laughs> built a platform over and then just uh, had him come over here and make it all. In fact, we might just do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Something like that. Okay, let's, so let's get... One, two, three, four. There we go. And we'll take this out. And then we'll just uh, make some stuff over here for them to jump over. Just like that. Just like that. That'll be better. That way we can stay out of the chlorine. Alright, so we got that going, so I think I should be able to deconstruct this. No problem. Break that pipe. There you go. Got a little bit of water down there, that's fine. Okay. That should start doing the trick then. I believe so. Everybody's spending time mopping. That's great. I mean, I told them to, but I want them to finish this pipes. There you go. Good job, Salad. Way to go. Thank you, Bonnie. There we go. So now we should have a fully functioning carbon dioxide skimming system. So the water comes in here, skims out the carbon dioxide, puts out the polluted water into the sieve. The sieve outputs clean water into the uh, carbon skimmer and such and so forth. Continues on uh, forever. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll be uh, start getting rid, getting rid of some of this carbon dioxide, which would be great. All right, cool. In fact, there's, <laughs> there's almost no carbon dioxide already. The, the chlorine is, is taking over. All right, so should we continue down? I think we should. Should continue down here. Let's keep, keep digging down. And then we'll keep digging a ladder down. Like so. All right, let's go ahead and go over to plastic manufacturing. Oh, and we got a printing pod. Do I really want another duplicate? Not really. I will take this coal. 
We'll take the coal for now. We're, we don't quite have our food source lined up like, like it needs to be yet, so... I'm gonna wait until we get that lined up before I start making uh, more duplicates. Alright. I might make a second carbon skimmer thing here. Let's cancel this because I might need to, uh, to break this and pipe here. If I break that pipe, that should be just fine. I don't need the ladder, I don't need the liquid bridge, I need this liquid pipe to deconstruct that. Yeah, that should be fine. That should do both of those. Okay, let's continue up from over here. Which direction for up? Let's go up this direction. There we go. And keep doing that. Okay. I probably need to put in some oxygen up there somewhere. It's harder to go down because all the bad gas goes down. So, but looks like there's some lava down there. So we should be getting some obsidian, granite, coal. So maybe we'll find some oil or something down there pretty soon. Some petroleum. That'd be nice. All right. Are we still researching plastics? Yes. Okay, good. All right. So we need to start thinking about some different power sources. So with this, I got some natural gas, got some petroleum, got a hydrogen. Uh, is there any hydrogen or natural gas around? Uh, there's some chlorine and a little bit of natural gas. I don't know where that natural gas probably came from farts. Um, a little bit of chlorine over there. Uh, we're going to need to use an oxidizer, I guess, to, uh, yeah, I think we're going to need an oxidizer to get us set up with a, uh, some, uh, hydrogen. So let's think about that here for a second. There's copper ore. What about copper? I've got 770 kilograms of it. Let's go ahead and queue up just a little bit of that. There we go. So I can start making that whenever I need to. Okay. So we, we need power source and we need... Uh, we need a power source and we're going to need uh, a food source. We got a little bit of food coming in here. We really need to get ranching going. I'm a little worried about the water situation, but I think we'll be fine. If I go ahead and dig this out, let's not, let's not get to the slime. Something like that, that'll be good. There's some ox oxalot buried in there. I might put the uh, hydrogen room right here. In this open area so what I'll need is a room to put it to pipe in the hydrogen what's hydrogen doing in here I don't know to pipe in the hydrogen and then I'll also need to uh, if I can remember how this all works let's see so for the hydrogen generator I need electrolysis so here's an ethanol distiller. Okay. So I think I might need to research electrolysis. So let's find that. Let's find that. Electrolysis. Here it is. Yes, electrolyzer. It converts water into oxygen and hydrogen. Alright, so I'm going to do that. So let's put in a nice base here. There we go. And then we'll put in a, uh, a room here with a airlock. We'll do a mechanized one. Yep. And then we'll do power to that. There we go. 
or actually, do we want to go ahead and start using the, uh, the good wire? Or I might not have researched it yet. Okay. It's fine. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Don't trap yourselves. Oh boy, they're gonna trap themselves. Now oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought for sure Lindsay and DV were just about to trap themselves. They're they're all right. They made it. All right, so I probably need to get a refrigerator up and running here soon, as well. I might just put it here in the right outside the uh, the mill place. And we'll start storing our, our food in there so that it, it doesn't spoil. I'd hate to start making all this food and then not be able to store it. So we'll do that. And I'll stop storing it here in this ration box. Uh, which currently has muckroot in it. And the muckroot is unrefrigerated. So does it tell when it's going to go bad? Doesn't say. Muckroot's pretty much all that's in there right now. Let's just start. Let's just store nothing in there for now. In fact, let's just uh, deconstruct it. Oh, look at this. What we found. A natural gas geyser. <gasps> Ooh, that's some delicious power right there. That's some delicious power. We'll have to do something with this polluted water. That's going to be bad. Starvation. Liam, go get some food. Go get some food, Liam. Liam. Let's go get food now. Yeah, okay, there he is. He's getting it. I mean, we got food. He's just... He just wasn't taking a break. Okay. Well, we should get start getting some water up into this area once we get this research done. Which, uh, we are done with it. Good. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and get the space program going, I guess. Alright. Let's build this up quick. Somebody finish this refrigerator. Power. How are we doing on power? We're getting a little bit over on power. Starting to pull a little bit too much. Let's see. Power. Battery is running pretty good. Power use. It's up to 800 watts at a time. Okay. And they're about to get a little bit higher. So I probably need to go ahead and start getting a... Yep, starting to peak over at 1 kilowatt. So we're going to need to get uh, something else. Um... Gonna need to put in another transformer, I'm afraid. So another transformer will probably need to be over here. So let's put in the transformer right here, for example. And uh, may have to break all of this off here. We'll have to do heavy watt wire from here down here okay or we could come down this way uh, do I have heavy watt joint plate yes I do okay could do that what's this what's this heavy watt wire take this takes uh, copper ore this takes copper ore okay so that won't be too bad we could do heavy watt joint plate I could do it right here for example and then we could do heavy watt wire from Go over that and then down. Oops. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Something like that. Uh, is this uh, is this connecting or is this going through that? I can't tell. 
that this might cause a loop, which will be a problem. All right, let's just do this right over here, like so. And then uh, we'll have to disconnect some of this wiring. I don't think that passes through that, but we'll see. Once we get that going. All right, so let's go ahead and close up this. Like so. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but we'll see. Okay. And then we'll do power. Wire. We'll need a break. It's probably right here. Let's break all that. Okay. Very good. And then we'll do... Uh, fire from here to there. Alright. Just like that. Okay. That should do. I think I'm going to go ahead and come in here. To the wire. And de just deconstruct that. And that. Cancel build. No. There we go. And then I'll put in a nice wire bridge. Just like so. That way, I'm certain that we don't have any double double wattage there. Alright, so let's uh, do priority. Let's do a nice nine on this and that and that. There we go. That'll be good. That way we get our pump back up and running. Alright, we got another printing opportunity. We've got sand. We've got Mr. Farmer here. Uh, uncultured. uncultured. Cannot do decorating. Increased food morale bonus. Cannot do doctoring. Uh, okay, we'll get Abe in here. We'll get Abe in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Need another cot then. For Abe. There we go. Abe. We're going to set his priorities. Farming, farming, farming. Abe is the farmer. Alright. Bonnie should no longer do farming. Liam continues to do farming. DV, no farming for you either. Okay. There we go. And for Abe, does he start with a skill? Yes, he does. Let's go farming, and then we can go into uh, critter wrenching soon after that. What is the next skill? For Bonnie... Uh, she can probably do some field research or astronomy. Hmm. Let's just wait for her right quick. DV, let's do improved construction for him. Salad, uh, grilling too. No, I think we'll pass that on to somebody else. He's going to do super hard digging. All right. Also, Abe also needs a hat. Abe uh, needs a farmer hat. There you go. There you go, Abe. All right. So now we got power going down to this section. So we got two different uh, thousand watt doodads there. So that's good. Um, that's inactive most of the time. That's fine. I can expand off of that as well. I could go ahead and run this pump off this line. If I just ran this, just like that. That uh, that pump would be there, and then I could just cut off this power that I've got. You know, I made that bridge specifically for that. I can cut that off and uh, get that going. Let's do that. I think that'll be better. All right, so now we should be able to put in our refinery. Uh, did, 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 did we ever get electrolysis? Yeah, electrolyzer. All right, converts water into oxygen and hydrogen. All right, so if we put, uh, let's just put in a couple here. Uh, should I put it right in the door? Let's just put in two for now. And then we'll do uh, power to these two. Don't want to go crazy with it. Let's do liquid pipe. There we go. Liquid pipe there. 
So we're going to pump that into there. We're going to get some nice hydrogen in here, presumably. So let's start thinking about ventilation. We will need a gas pump. Oh boy, yeah, it's big. Okay. A gas pump. Let's just put it down here. All right, and then we'll do a power. Conductive wire, what's what's the better with the conductive wire? It uh, holds more juice. All right. That'll be all right there. And then we need for the ventilation, we probably need a filter. Gas filter. All right, so let's pop that right there. This goes out from there to there. And this will need to come out to a uh, vent. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's cancel this build, the gas pipe, and this one. Let's go uh, ventilation, gas pipe. Let's go up and... Let's just pop it out right here and then put out a gas vent there so that uh, this will pump out anything that's not uh, hydrogen. Okay. So these things are already pump cranking out the, the hydrogen. Okay. I could put in a little pit here for to keep the air in, but I'm not super that concerned about it really, Taytree. As soon as we get this all set up, we won't be going in there anymore, so we'll be fine. Alright, in fact, I probably should just turn these off for now. Um, let's disable them. Disable him. Let's just turn these off until we get this all up and running. That way we're not wasting uh, hydrogen in there. Alright, and then this filter will be set up, and it will filter out hydrogen. Yep. And then the hydrogen will go up here to this room. Like that. This will be deconstructed. Okay. Looks like I messed up on our my spacing there a little bit. That's alright. I could just go ahead and fill this up more, I guess. And, uh, hold on. I guess I'll do that. Let's go ahead and fill that up with more hydrogen. Okay, she turned that off. That's good. Alright, so then this, uh, this gas will come out of here. I'm just going to go ahead and... Oops. Pop it out right there. I kind of feel like I need to pump it out to the to the ground level, like that, instead. Because then it will be uh, down here with the hydrogen. So then, for the power, we will need uh, hydrogen generators. So we'll put in two of those. And then uh, we'll have to do something with the wire from it. <laughs> we'll, uh, what, what can we do with that? Alright, well, we could put in another uh, thing over here. Put in another power area. Or we could just pop up the wire to, uh, to this oh circuit or I could just make a whole different circuit I kind of want to put it on the same circuit as this that way it takes the load off of the uh, coal generators and the coal generators are just basically be back up need a lot of copper ore for those okay well that's fine so if I take the uh, heavy watt wire, I'll need a plate here. Could just take it out here somewhere. It'd probably be the easiest. But I'm not going to. Let's get rid of this wire. 
first. Uh, I could just put it over here to a battery there. And then put a transformer on the outside of that. And then run, like, this half of the base with it or something. I don't know. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I kind of want to keep it all together. So let's go ahead and put a heavy watt plate there. Well, I can't. Why can't I build here? It must be built in an unoccupied space. It is unoccupied. Oh, they can't get over here, can they? <laughs> okay. Let's put that there for now, temporarily. I didn't think about this thing here being a problem. Yeah. Let's deconstruct that. And we'll pop it out instead. Right. Let's cancel this. Let's uh, pinch that off and pop it down right there. There we go. Just like that. Let's deconstruct that. Alright, so now we have this all blocked off here. And if I get the heavy watt wire going from these guys to this guy, like so. And then I could bring this up here underneath that wire bridge over to here and down to there. That should do it. And then we should be able to use these guys to uh, help the coal power get utilized less. That's the idea, at least. This is uh, busy pumping away there. That's so good. I might have to pump the oxygen out of here. I'm not sure. We might go ahead and do that temporarily. We just uh, put in a pump just short term. And uh, just get a wire going, like so. And then just some simple ventilation, S pop, like that. We'll just do this temporarily, and then uh, get all the oxygen out. And once all the oxygen's out, we'll turn this off, and then we'll. Uh, Turn on these and start getting some, uh, I need a sensor in here so that it'll stop this. Alright, so automation, signal switch, water sensor, critter sensor. Now I need to research some, uh, sensors for air. Liquids, gases. Because this thing's just going to run and run and run. <laughs> Forever and use up, use up extra power and really don't need to be. Same for this guy, once we get it going, it's uh, he's just going to keep running, running, running. In fact, I'll probably just turn this guy off temporarily. Until I get this electrolysis going. I think I can turn disable this ladder. Yeah, yeah turn that off, Sal. Thank you. Alright, so Liam here is going to take some improved farming. And then he will take critter ranching. Bonnie, on the other hand, what should she take? Uh, I think I'll take some astronomy for her, I'll, even though I don't quite need it yet. I'm going to go ahead and take it. Okay. We're just about empty of the oxygen in here. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this off. So we don't use up extra power. We do have a new print ready. Uh, some drecklets. Uh, reject. Yep. Nothing in, nothing in that round, please. There we go. All right. So now we can turn on these. Well, let's let's wait till we get our research done. Shouldn't take too long. The research is pretty quick. For the ventilation, I want to get an Atmo sensor in there. Before we do... Uh, before we turn all this system on. And then we can start working on getting this natural gas dug out and we can set up a uh, nice natural gas power supply which will be awesome 
And here's the magma down here. That's that's going to be a problem if I don't put in some temperature controlled things here. So I'll definitely need to research some uh, heat heat building uh, heat heat blocking blocks. What are they all called? I'm not sure what they're called. All right, research is done. Let's look for the uh, what was what was I was talking about just then? Uh, some temperature protection thermal. What are they called? Uh, let's see. Uh, water filters tiles. Something that blocks the heat. Heat resistant tiles. I can't remember what they're called. Plastic tiles? No. Ah, here it is. Insulated tile. There we go. Temp temperature modulation. Let's go ahead and get that researching. That way we can block off the bottom of the colony here with some temperature tiles. That will keep uh, all this heat from coming up, hopefully, too much. Alright, so now that we've got a Atmo sensor in here, I can put in the Atmo sensor right there, and then we'll add an automation wire between the sensor and the pump. And we should be able to uh, set it up so that it only will pump when it gets a certain amount of air in there. Alright, awesome. So, uh, send grin signal if above uh, say, I don't know, 500? Is that enough? Okay. What is it currently in here? 157? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and turn these on. Alright, we're going to turn those on and turn this on. And, uh, let's see how this works out. Draws in gas. Oh, okay, so I'll, I will need a pump in here. Now I got a pump right here. Awesome. So let's put in this pump. And we'll put in some inputs. Actually, you know what? Instead of uh, pumping it into the air, Let's do this. Let's just kill this. Vent. We'll just pump it directly in there. Huh? Right? I mean, might as well, right? And then that way we don't we're not wasting it. Having to make a you know filter and all that stuff. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's, that's better. You know, it might not be a bad idea to pump it into um, a tank. And then once the tank is full, then pump it into the, the things. Uh, we'll see. Okay. All right, so we got that going. We're going to need ranching, like, ASAP. Do we have a rancher yet? Nobody's a rancher just yet. Okay, so we should get start getting some hydrogen in here, and then once this once it's high enough, the hydrogen will pump up to the generators, and then uh, yeah, then then they'll work and they'll pump up the jams. All right, so let's uh, let's think about ventilation right quick. Uh, no, no, gen no base. Yeah, that's this is what I'm. Where is the air tanks? Ah, down here. Air tanks. I need a I need an air tank. Let's see. Oxygen canister. Yes. Oh well that's for manual transport. Gas distribution. Gas intake fitting. Large solid oxidizer tank. No. That's not what I want. Here's transit tubes, Wayne. I need, I want, what do I want? I want something to store the gases in. Gas reservoir, that's what I'm looking for. Let's get that. Gas reservoir. So then I can put a gas reservoir in right here. Fill it up and then pump it up to that. And then hopefully we can get enough Electrolysis, I mean, enough hydrogen in there to, to get these things going steady. Yeah. Hopefully. 
Hopefully. Do I need to run an activate, I mean a, uh, thing to these? Probably. Got two people idle. How's that even possible? Uh, we need to do something with this polluted water. So let's get some digging going. Let's do something like that. And then... We'll do down. And there. Like that. And then we should be able to, uh run this polluted water out and down that'll be good let's go ahead and get one more row up like that there we go all right so we also need to start coming over this way i don't know what we got over here on the on the sides all right, that's going to be about it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We got some uh, rudimentary hydrogen generators going up already, but not super great just yet. We do want to get a, um, a little bit uh, better situation going with that. How are we doing coal-wise? We still got almost 50 tons of coal. So it's not like we're running out yet, but I just don't want to get into a situation like I did last time. I want to get a little canister... Uh, put in over here for our gas and uh, and then store it up until it gets full and then pop it in over here to the uh, to these hydrogen generators instead of just like these some onesies and twosies nonsense uh, I think I think we'll be better off so let's wait until we get actually some pretty high pressure in here and then we'll start uh, pumping in some hydrogen hopefully there'll be plenty of hydrogen in there after you pump up to some ambient, it's pretty high ambient pressure, then uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.